The following may contain inappropriate language. All opinions expressed by the host and guests do not reflect the views of any company or service. This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm still Cami Chaos, and behind the desk, we still have Dr. Normal, and he has a word or two for you this evening. Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I'm sorry, I've got a lot of technical things going on. I got something cool to show you. This is another technical thing we were talking about. I think we talked about this last week, didn't we? Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You told me not to talk, so I took a drink. I, I didn't say <laughs> don't engage me in conversation. Gammy Chaos. Sure. Are we talking about the streaming on the iPhone? Because we totally were going to talk about that last week until it went like all foobar. Right. Exactly. Right. What happened, uh, to, to recap, are you ready for this? I, I will to step To recap. It up. Yes. Let's step it up. Okay. And I'll be quiet and nice. Okay. To recap, uh, we were uh, just about to start a live stream last week, and we'd been testing this iPhone streaming, which is really cool. And uh, it went down. So you can always catch us on. I'll go to the pretty girl while I set this up. <laughs> I'm doing my Brian Westbrook. You can just go to strangelovelive.com and there'll be a post up at the top with a link to the site that you need to go to. But he's going to tell you something different and much more complicated now. Okay. And I'm going to drink. Okay. So, so just to show you and the people who are on the uh, live stream. So you can get this on your iPhone. And. It, Some of this is, is, the video part is experimental, but it is the future. Um, So first, we have pdx.fm. So if you go on your browser, I don't know if you can see that. I can't see that. Oh, If you go on your browser, oh, there it is. Did you hold it still, though? Because you can't give me motion sickness. Anyway, you go to pdx.fm. And uh, you click on, you go there in your Safari browser, and y- you can hear, you can hear stuff happening. And now you can't see it. Whatever, it's going. It works. Yep, works really well. And you can listen to. Uh, but that's PDX audio. Sucks. Audio only. That's off to, uh, audio. And then you go. We're on this iPhone dot livestream dot com, uh, but. You know, there may be other locations to do this. And it's a different stream. So you click on that. You go there. You click on here. Um, go what Cammy's doing. What? <laughs> no, what are you doing? I don't know. I was trying to figure out how to make a dog out of shadow puppets. Look. I'm not sure. There I am. Talking about. Yeah. Angle. How does Brian it was do just fine. Hey. Although you have giant man hands. It's probably a good thing you're a man, but still, your hands are just kind of creepily large at that angle. So you can watch it on your iPhone. Hopefully that'll continue. Could you turn the volume off? Oh, okay. So we'll find new and cool ways to keep that on the iPhone, because if you live in Portland, as you know, mobile is the future. So that wasn't very exciting. It's also the present. We can talk about what we're drinking or what you were doing, Cammy. I could, I could introduce our guests. We could introduce our guests now. And they can just say, gosh, Dr. Normal, that iPhone streaming live is pretty cool. Well, let's, let's let them speak for themselves, <laughs> shall we? 
Gosh, yes. Dr. Oh, that <laughs> iPhone streaming is pretty cool. How much did he pay you guys to do that? $11. All right, that's fair. Okay, so we've got... <laughs> You're a harder negotiator than I am. <laughs> we've got... I got $11. Dane has it all. I didn't say it right that time. I said it right earlier. I didn't, I'm done. We've got Dane. You didn't put it on the post-it note. Well, no, but I, you know, I knew he was going to be on for a while. And then we've got sure. Nate Bedortha, whose name is on the post-it note, so I said it right. Hesseldahl. Okay. Hesseldahl. Yeah. Is Better that time? Our name. It's like yes. we're a, uh, a married couple. Like we're hyphenated names. Yeah. Hesseldahl Bedortha. Yeah. You won a hell of a hyphenation. <laughs> I feel bad for the children who have to spell that name. Uh, they're just dogs. Well, no. You guys don't have any dogs with a hyphenated last name. You two. Well, we have we have one dog with a hyphenated last name. Yeah. Joy is custody. it is it Bedortha or Hesseldahl? For Hesseldahl. Uh, which one comes first? I give up. I said it. I said it right twice. Bedortha Hesseldahl. It's alphabetical. Okay. It's alphabetical. Yeah. That's important to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His name is Skitsy. I drop all the other names. And I just use chaos because it's easy and it's only four letters. Right. And you know, it beckons back to Those get smart. Right. Radio station, you know, that could be your call sign. K-A-O-S. Yeah. Chaos. Chaos in the morning. Only I don't like mornings. I think you're on to something. Yeah. Chaos. Get the, the scientists evening. working on the tube technology immediately. Hello. Hello. Can you get Cammy a radio station? Thank you. I hear radio is big now. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing. <laughs> I, that sounds bad. <laughs> Dr. Normal was Goodness. pouring wine. We have a, there's a, a Strange Love Live urinal. Yes, <laughs> and I like to refer to that as pouring wine because it sounds just We're slight, classy. slightly more polite. Okay, so we haven't done drink music in a long time. I don't know if he's got drink music. Okie dokie. Maybe I'll just talk for a no, moment. I got it, I got it. We used to have this segment where we would always discuss what it is that we're drinking, and when we discussed what we were we drinking, we have no consistency on this. We game would, show. we would. Well, it used to be a thing, and then I don't know. Someone thought maybe we should focus less on booze. I have no idea. It wasn't me. I'm it was just a foolish saying. decision. I know, right? Right? Just saying. But blame it on the Duo Chronicles or something. I have no idea. That Johnny. The Clay. first clean after hours episode ever. I don't like that shit. I also <laughs> blame it on Brian Westbrook because he's the one that got me banned from drinking during the Tech Edition. Well, it's true. I'm guessing that there's a story behind this. We're just, Brian and I get kind of obnoxious when we drink together. Hmm. And Dr. Normal, in a in an attempt to prevent that from happening, banned us from drinking during the tech edition. Oh. And then he decided, hey, that went really well. That was smooth. It's a great idea. No one ever drinks during the tech edition again. And that's a, a so virgin, really he is virgin. No, virgin this is after hours. Oh, oh, so, I yeah. gotcha. So really, right. it's just promoting binge drinking, you know, right before after hours starts, right? So that's and, really and, much more dangerous. And before people come over. Speaking of which, as requested, you have drink music now. Okay. I'm going to go first because mine's pretty simple. I'm drinking a dirty, dry Bombay martini. So is the peanut gallery. And that's what it is every week. So I occasionally, why do we bother? I occasionally have a tiki drink. I, maybe that's why we stopped doing a, the, the drinky time was because I always drink the same thing. Uh, I'm, I'm just drinking of habit. water. I'm a, I'm a Mennonite. Um, uh, no, that's a lie. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have to explain <laughs> what we're drinking because it's awesome and it's you know, yeah, uh, it's your it's your tale to tell. Yeah, you can hold the bottle there, Nate. It's the strange love lives and your base. Doctor Normal can tell you the story behind it. it. Smells delicious. It does. Well, so uh, some that was the last wine that Cami Chaos and I were ever involved with making. We've made some wine over the years before we mm-hmm. podcast. My now favorite we have, being the the inked Sauvignon Blanc. I liked that. Yes, we'll yeah. have to bring. We'll do some holiday stuff with that later. Okay. Sorry, I'm always moving and my mic's all screwed up. But anyway, um, you're a close talker when it comes to the microphone, Doc. Yes. Just thought I'd mention that's how that. you get the good sound. But yeah, we this was the last, and we we actually work. We're gonna call it Strange Love, San Giovese. I just put the sticker on there. It's not bad from california all the other wine we've made in the past came from grapes we picked in oregon i have a beautiful segue here if you'll let me have it please do speaking of things that came from california back to portland oh well done yeah i thought you really had a segue for us to ride on that would be cool though right yeah i don't know where we'd go with it because it's 
We could do donuts. Do seg- I really want to do Segway Joust. Nice. Right? See, Wozniak nice. does it. Yeah. No, he does Segway he does Polo. polo. That's Segway right. Polo. Yeah. Jousting, that's a completely different... It's a, con- it's a contest of honor. Really, it's... It, um, so, yeah. So, you were there, but I, now you're here. Yeah, we, we had a very short-lived... Uh, stint in San Francisco recently, Kyla so, and I. So what happened? You guys decided, hey, let's go to San Francisco. It'll be great. It'll be fun. It's San Francisco. Everyone loves San Francisco. Right. And absolutely. Then, and then you went there. Um, and we went there, and San Francisco absolutely lives up to the hype. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I, I love it. Um, but it's not Portland. No, it's not. Um, you know, I mean, I had this thing where, you know, I've lived in Portland, you know, most of my adult life. Mm-hmm. And um, I just wanted to, tr- to try something different. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, we adore Portland, and we got to San Francisco, and absolutely adored San Francisco. Um, but it's really expensive. Mm-hmm. It's really, really hard to live in. Just standard everyday tasks take like three times as much effort. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's just there's something about Portland um, that is just amazing and and can't be described. And um, and San Francisco is amazing in its own way, but it's not amazing in the Portland way. It's a way different that we place. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, we had an amazing time, but um, mostly we sat around and talked about missing Portland. And so when Similar came along, um, I'm working from home, and it, it made sense. You know, Kyla um, free, you know, is a freelance writer. She works from home as well. And so it was, it was easy to come back. Um, yeah. I mean, I miss San Francisco. I miss parts about it, but I'm really happy to be home. But you miss it like, I'd like to go visit it. Yeah. I, Not yeah. like, I'm going to go back and live there again. No, no, I don't I don't think I could do it. It's it's different. I mean, I think that, that we could have adjusted, but we didn't really want to. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was not born and raised in Portland, but I am a Portland girl. I moved here when I was 17, and I have not been able to leave. And the longer I stay, the more I am sucked into Portland. Exactly. I can't imagine living anywhere else. Exactly. I mean, you know, I think that, that that's exactly what we realized about a week after we got there. Yeah. Um, and San Francisco smells like pee. It does. It smells a little... Um, Dr. Normal. <laughs> what? What I'm are you doing? I'm trying not to throw the pencil at him. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, stop playing with your cord. Oh, oh, oh. When you play with it's the a- microphone cord, yeah. it, it makes Here. the sound funny. Here. Have, it. Have a pencil. There you go. You can... <laughs> there you go. There. That's nice. That's okay. I just really can't listen to San Francisco. I was trying to be stuff. nice about it and go, don't do that on the mic cable. <laughs> I, I really, noise. I just, I'm, I'm fidgeting because Put I, the I, mic I, cable hear, down. I hear your San Francisco story. Now you tell uh, us a story. He lived within a mile of the best burritos in the world for a year and he never ate them. We found our own burrito place. Uh, I was going to ask if you weren't a burrito person, but uh, you found your own place. Yeah, Taqueria Zapata on uh, 19th and Castro. See, the only thing that the only thing I really miss about living in California was is the Mexican food. Yeah, it's really, really difficult to get good Mexican food in in Oregon. I like pepinos. It's funny. Everything in San Francisco was just an approximation to pepinos here in Portland. Mm-hmm. Steak and potato burrito. Mm. Oh my god, I'm hungry. <laughs> we can go to to uh, <laughs> Wiffy's after this. Yeah, he face. doesn't have burritos. Maybe he should work on a burrito pie. A burrito pie. I don't think it would be very good, though. No. I'm sure I, he'd find a way. A deep fried burrito. Oh, I like I like deep fried burritos. It's actually, there's a special word for that. It's not a burrito. Thank you. Chimichanga. I like those. He's of Spanish and Welsh descent. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do you have a San Francisco story aside from that Dane didn't go and eat the right burritos? No, San Francisco's really all about burritos. Okay. I mean, that's burritos. Not about hills. the music or the well, fact yeah. that it smells like pee or secondary. the awesome, awesome shops. That's all secondary to burritos. Wait a second, there's shops there? What? There's shops in San Francisco? No. I missed it. There are? I, I don't know. No, I, I only know. You. See, as a, as a teenager, I lived uh, in a suburb of San Francisco. And so every year when it was time to go back to school shopping, I'd have to go into San Francisco to get my Doc Martens because it was the only place you could get them. Oh. It was before the internet was, you know, prevalent and gave you things. Beautiful things like the Doc Martens website where you could order anything you wanted. Oh wow! You had to go to Villains on Hate. Oh, I love Hate. I love Hate. There's this amazing uh, what, what's the word? Sausage sausage uh-huh. shop called Rosamund on um, in the Lower Hate. It's on like Hate and I can't remember where, but it's it's right in the Lower Hate, and uh, they make these amazing like Hungarian lamb sausages and oh, man. yeah. Oh, it's it's. Oh, 
uh, yeah, it's mm-hmm. one of the few places that we went. As far as I'm concerned, there's like four places to go in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Uh, Forever 21 for Kyla. Uh-huh. But they Sa- have those everywhere. Yeah, but don't tell her that. She uh, doesn't know that they have them in Portland? Um, well, she does now. Thanks, Cammy. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, I know she knows they have My, them. Because Meg and Kate would have told her. Yeah, no, she knows. It, yeah. was, it, was, it was a joke. I know. It was funny. <laughs> I just had to kill it. Um, so, Forever 21. GameStop. GameStop, which uh, they also have. <laughs> is that... They have those here, too? Oh, damn you, Dave. Um, uh, and then uh, they have this really great ethnic restaurant. Um, it's called Berger King. <laughs> hmm. It's really good. I have not heard of that it's one. It's like... It, yeah. It's okay. really good. Um, that was really bad. I'm going to look it up, though, on the internet. I bet you they have one. That was really bad. I actually laughed. <laughs> I giggled. Um, and, and, and some other... The, there's a public toilet that I like to go to. <laughs> public. We've got some public toilets here, too. I heard about that. There's been some talk about not wanting the public toilets. But, you know, I think the public... They need a place to go. Right, right. you got to put them in Jameson Square so the kids don't pee in the fountain is really the trick. You know what? When I was a kid, we peed in everything. I know. I know. And people didn't care. They were like, it's a kid! Kids pee in fountains. Kids are like 30% pee. (laughs) I would say 70, but sure. And she knows she's a mother. Yeah. Good deal. (sighs) This is not the topic that we should have gone down. I'm sure we didn't think much more. Is there something in your pocket that you'd like to show us? Oh, my. (laughs) Hey, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I said pocket. Uh, Yeah, it's my my, uh, Green Lantern Lantern ring. Here, show this camera. (laughs) It's uh, my Green Lantern. Oh, okay. This camera. I'll show that camera. Uh, green Lantern. Nice. Um, I brought it in case I have to do uh, some, um, you know, really quick interstellar combat mm-hmm, later. Mm-hmm. Member of the core. Now I can't really combat with with this, but I can fix things. I All like manner this. of things. Can I have it over here? I think it's. No, he just oh, doesn't. Do oh. I think it's great that you guys have. Uh, your vibrators and that stuff down here. Cool. Mm. It does look cool. Yeah, this Trust doesn't me. really. It doesn't. Really, it doesn't vibrate. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Doctor Who, so if it did, <laughs> it would be a whole. I wouldn't really be ashamed of that a fact. Whole different but, thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah, but it doesn't. It just lights up and makes the funny noise. And. Oh no! Mm, and. It and breaks. It breaks. Oh, and it's a pen. In case you need to write down, like, what time you were in. Oh, doll. doll there we thing. go. Um, yeah, no, it, this, but this came from the Dr. Hume, Dr. Hugh. God, Cammy, Get a grip. This came from the Dr. Who Museum in Wales. I saw a picture of Fat Boy's uh, avatar. Isn't Fat Boy's new one. avatar awesome? I think he has one, too. If I didn't already have, like, pink he puppy heart love for, for Fat Boy, I would now because he's got the sonic screwdriver in his uh, avatar. Yeah. These are important things. Bobby Roberts is a cool cat. He's you you cool probably cat. could get one in Portland. I know, but this one came from Wales. Yeah. It's a Welsh sonic screwdriver, as did... Back to the drink. We're going old school. Back to the drink music and the Doctor Who talk. Yeah, you know what? December is is basically at an end. I'm not going to have these things with me next week on the show. Hey, everybody. And then we're not doing a show the week after. We're going to be podcasting for 30 hours next week at this time. What hour are we going to be into at this time? It's... It's uh, 11, 16 Pacific right now, so... We're going to be at hour 7. Yeah. Holy crap. And I will have eaten dinner, but the difference is is that I'm not going to drink it 30 hour day. Um, me neither. Because I need just to stay lots awake. of coffee. vitamin water. Vitamin water. And vitamin water. I can't emergency. drink emergency. Emergency and vitamin water. I can't drink coffee, Doctor Normal. I know. It makes me. Um, but anyway, it makes me. We'll be in hour seven. Unreliable is the word I'm use. Hour thirty. It makes me be. irregular. It makes me skittish and a little insane, and I have to pee a lot. Yeah, I already pee a lot, so it's a dangerous combination. Yeah, it's not good. Um. So, you're going to come hang out with us next week? Of course, yes. So, next next week, we won't be here in Strange Love Live Studios. Next week... You're going to be in Pi, right? going to be at Pi. And first, we will, you know, have some stuff and do some things, and we'll decorate the tree. And then, Court and Fatboy will do an episode of Court and Fatboy. 
And then Robert and Sabrina will do an episode of PDXX After Hours. And then I'll do my show. And then we'll do Seven Planet Picture Show. We've got, like, a Portland lineup. And then we will do some other things. Um, my cohort in 30 Hour Days in the peanut gallery shaking his head at me like I'm an idiot. He does that a lot. Um, but at some point, and this is important, we are doing a... Uh, an homage to whose line is it anyway? Around 3 a.m., you guys all set your alarm clocks. It's very important. At 3 a.m., I'm going to embarrass Rick Tarosi to no end. Wow. It is going to be awesome. And more importantly, Megan Kate, who is like, you know, improv babe extraordinaire, is going to be working her improv magic as well. I, I know she's an improv babe. Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard such things. And mm -hmm. she's quite funny. Mm -hmm. I like that, Megan. She's going to be rocking the funny at 3 a.m. She does a good meme some, PDX. Some Who's Line skits. She does. Yes, she does. Yes. Make her do her drunk girl. That's the funniest thing ever. Okay. I need to, unfortunately, the pen on my sonic She'll screwdriver remember. isn't working. Megan, Kate, I need you to do drunk girl for me. Yeah. The, and then I need Kyle to take happy. drunk girl out on a date, okay? So speaking Just, of drunk you know. girl. Uh, yes. You guys were on the square. I was not <laughs> drunk on the square. Okay. But I'm just saying. You so drunk. tonight, you were I'm sorry, pimping that <laughs> okay. the 30 it hour was day. It's okay. It's cold outside. You and Rick. There's Stephanie Strickland. Uh huh. There's you guys Stephanie were and me and Rick. Pimping the. Uh, this is just after I elbowed him in the stomach. Good timing. Yep. Down at the square. Mm -hmm. There you are talking, talking, mm -hmm. we're talking, we're talking, we're moving, we're talking. Why do I we're shake my head when I move? I don't know. I don't understand. You're, you're in fast forward oh, right God, now. Oh, God, that makes me feel better because I thought that I really moved my head that quickly and shake it, girl. aggressively. You <laughs> shake that head, girl. You go on. Dr. <laughs> Normal, do you want me to Sorry. continue to record podcasts? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Rick. <laughs> then maybe don't mock me. <laughs> I'm cool. You know what? I think you think I talk to Rick too much. I quit. I so quit now. Don't, don't tell me. I'll ask him. Rick. Rick's like, uh... <laughs> I have to sit up straight. I look really... I just oh, wait, noticed oh. myself on the monitor. All right, right everybody, this. let's improve our posture. <sighs> okay. Wait, wait here's Rick This is talking. really less comfortable. We're yeah, talking, we're talking, we're using our and hand, my, my hand got gesture. Really short. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Don't turn the camera back for a second while I... My skirt got short when my posture got what? good. That's always good. We're yeah. talking... Well, oh, hand gesture! Did you see that? Who Ooh. hand gestured? I missed it. No, you were like Stephanie tossing Strickland. it out there. Oh, no, Rick this was... is when I was afraid Rick wasn't going to talk. Yeah. And so I told him it was his turn to talk. I oh, was you like, really sat up, by the way. Who, me? Yeah, you're out of the shot now. My... Okay. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I was um, trying to look like I was picking Yeah, that was, that was good. Rick had the hand, the, you know, hand motions, and then you were like tossing it out there. I think we should set that to music. You know what? I'm going to share something with the with R E S C P C. I'm an, you can't even How spell respect. Go? I can't. <laughs> it's like the Eddie Murphy R E S C C Eddie. I'm going to share. Hey, I'm doing you know, I'm going to share two now. things. I'm going to share two, two things. I'm going to share two things. No. Wait. Oh, I love how my hands I, go everywhere. I got, I'm going to share two things with the strange of life audience. Number hands. one, Doctor Normal cannot spell. Look, Every time he sends a tweet, he has to ask. To spell. Look at all this he has to ask me how to spell here. some word. Usually, it is like do or and or <laughs> Those what? Are... <laughs> Difficult words, and I can't. The other thing. Well, do you something... mean do or z? <laughs> are you speaking German at me? <laughs> I don't know. Look, if these boots didn't take me so long to unzip, I would throw one at you. <laughs> Then I'd have to add the sound effect. I know, I like more the sound effect. More work for me. It's always more work for me. I think we should talk about something funny that has nothing to do with me throwing shoes at you me. or me being on television. Okay. Except that maybe my mom might have called me and ripped me a new a-hole for having chipped black nail polish on my show. <laughs> <laughs> and she might have informed me that it's not acceptable on TV. How does that make you feel, Cammie? It makes me feel a little bit cranky. Expand on that. Well, you see, my mom doesn't actually watch my fucking show. <laughs> However, she does watch me on TV. Then, what's, what's the hot thought in that thought? The, my hot thought is that she didn't even get to watch it on the TV. She had to watch it on the damn internet anyway. It seems like this makes you angry. Yeah, I just like to talk. I've been... 
I'm a really I'm good therapist. I'm going to work on a 30-hour <laughs> day all week. I've had some hot yeah. stuff. I might have to myself. hire you. Sure. I have some things I might need to talk through later. I, I'm in no condition to no, offer advice. No, wardrobing <laughs> issues. My mother and my nail polish. They love the beards love in the gin. chat room. Yeah? Really? Yeah, a lot of beard talk in the chat room. I all like right. having bearded men on the show. We're bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. Started with there, October beard. There, there, there was a time when when Nate and I had thrown around uh, the idea of starting uh, an interactive shop called uh, My, My Beard. beard. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and uh, and then uh, the domain was This Is My Beard. This is my beard. Do and you we, do you have that? Yeah, domain? We still yeah. Have oh yeah, we own it. What are you doing with it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like a beard social network where are we can talk like about us? beards. Do you own way too many domains? I uh, I'm a domain. I, I collect them. I, I, think I, I think I just broke ten recently. Really? I have like sixty. Ten. <laughs> I pay fifteen dollars for them. I don't get them a GoDaddy. Doctor oh. Normal, how many domains do we own? I I don't know what I I keep. I, you know what? Here's what happens. Oh, I'm asking you next. So don't uh, get all snotty. So I you also let them there, expire if I don't use them. You're sitting there oh. and you're reading the Twitter and uh-huh. you get an idea and then Ow. you're DMing Terosi going, "What do you think? What do you think of this?" Shit? And then before you and know, and then Terosi's click, 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 off click, buying click, your domain. You told like, him first. Every do- or dot org dot tv dot you so name it. I just want you to estimate book. how many do we own. I don't know. I'm gonna guess thirty. Yeah, is that at it? least that's ridiculous? Probably at least. Yeah, Dane. Uh, I'm probably up there, uh, thirty. Yeah, yeah. Terosi. You want an accurate, accurate number? Yeah, why don't you look it up for me? <laughs> he's right, got a lot. Right, we'll come okay. back. He, he's like... <laughs> I say it's about 300. I think it's over. Over 300? That's what, I was going to guess 150. A tip of the hat to you, sir. I know. Next, next, next time I'm going to... Everyone... Next time yeah. I Do you want to buy PortlandJailBlazers.com? Uh, Do you have that? That's that was good. My, that was my speculative that is good. domain buy. That is really yeah. good. So it next time, right I might, I might, I might have uh, let it expire. Can I just go shopping on your domains? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's Wait, good. Wait, you're supposed to auction it off or something. Oh, Emily's can we it. auction some of those off at 30 hour day? For 30 hour day, some of my best ones. Boom. That's a great idea. Boom. That is a Done. great idea. Done. That's a great idea. More money for charity. Don't that's, you, that's how she does it. Think of the children. That's why she's so big, people. Don't you, uh, brilliant. You know. You, that you, and I just, I'm trying to help his wife out. <laughs> Okay. Seriously, she'll be happy if you get rid of some of that shit, and you know it. Because they're all they're all projects that, that he's planning. Out. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same way. And the other thing is this: I need him for the project that we're doing right now. We have two projects. Thirtyhourday.org. Did you get me in PDX? Yeah, yes. All right. I'm, I'm not gonna drink. I'm just saying, I get to nag two men at once. It's really well, impressive. Nineteen <laughs> of my domains are expiring. If that's any indication. <laughs> oh, wow. God. You really do like to shop, even if I it's... do. I love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, oh, actually. I like that a lot. I didn't even know it was that high. Six hundred and nine. Oh, oh my Six hundred and nine wow. domains. Oh my god. Wow, that's a problem. Okay, I wait. Feel like, uh, no, yeah. Like, so you need to you need to release some of that baggage, sir. I can't do this right now, but later on, we're having an intervention. No. Yes. Okay, so we're going to start a contest right now. Uh, people need to start tweeting uh, domains that they think Rick Tarosi owns. Oh, okay. I want to see it. And what, what should the hashtag be? Uh, domains Rick Tarosi owns. It's a long. What if the domain's really long? He could have like some hundred character domains. What? That's a good one. I'm just saying. Yeah, no. Um, it's, it's a problem for people who work in the, the interactive industry, you know? How about domains to? There you go. Domains to. Nice. So please start tweeting domains to hashtag domains to. And keep it clean. Domains that you think Rick Trozzi. Don't keep it clean. You know he's got some horrible, <laughs> horrible domains. And we're going to auction them off at thirty hour day, because I need him to concentrate on the projects he's currently working on. Exactly. Give me you gotta focus. focus. Exactly. Well See, done. it's an F word, not an I word. So. It's I words and, and foods that are white. Really? So rice? I'm good with rice. It's white, though. Mayonnaise, sour cream. A mayonnaise is horrible. Mayonnaise is a disgusting, but filthy Lee. thing. But aioli is delicious. <laughs> what is? Aioli. Oh, okay. Aioli is how I say that. Yeah. I think, she, I think she's right. No, I will fight I you both. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's aioli. I can never pronounce it. I'm like, can I have the Arola, please? <laughs> never disagree with can me. Can I have the nipple again, thing? Yeah, I don't know. That's what is how they the... say it on Top Chef. 
Oh, wait. What? Really? Yeah. I can't even pronounce the nipple thing. Nipple? Areola? Yeah, areola, areola aioli. I, I, I get them all mixed up. I'd be the guy fumbling through that whole thing with the waitress, right? Uh, <laughs> you put your areola on that, please. Actually, you'd normally say, can I have the areola on the side? <laughs> It, it could open up some new sexual pathways for you, though, because oh. you mean to say one thing, and then all of a sudden you've, you've got Ioli, Ioli. It's that, it's in that the mix. black box nice Republic job. beta that. Uh, so other things that are white. So you don't like sour cream? No. What about no. on your baked potato? No. Do you eat baked potato? I do. Okay, but butter. Um. Yeah, with butter. Mm-hmm. Bacon. Mm-hmm. Bacon. Velveeta. I thought you were a vegetarian. No. Didn't you go vegetarian for a little while? I know I, you had your vegan trip for like right. It didn't last very long. No, but. no. Oh, that was that was the worst idea I ever had. I bought da- I bought Day funny. Eats Vegan uh, and uh, and I was blogging for the seven days that I was vegan. It was really funny and, until I had the monstrosity known as vegan pizza, which oh. is uh, bread Ugh. and sauce and um, I don't know what they're I, I, veg- vegetables is that actually right? I could do that. I, Dr. Normal does eat vegan pizza because he's that's crazy, what but called. I think pizza soy needs cheese. to have cheese. Yeah. I don't think soy cheese is cheese. No, it's a cruel, cruel joke. It's. I had it once because my brother is like severely lactose intolerant, and I was trying to feel his pain or something, and I felt his pain too deeply because it was disgusting. Vegans are masochists. It's yeah. it's not it's not a fun way to go through life. Uh, I you know I said that on the blog. I felt like. The world was constantly trying trying to shove animal down my throat, mm-hmm. and and it made me really hostile and, and resentful against the world. Like everything I bought, I was like, "Is there something dead in this?" Um, <laughs> this morning I was making breakfast, and I was like, "The vegetables I need to have are a really dead, nice." I have a big day. I'm gonna have a it's really true. nice breakfast. So I'm making myself this beautiful breakfast, and I'm thinking to myself, "Oh my, I'm so proud! I, I'm having a vegan breakfast. It's all healthy and shit." Till I realize, there's eggs. Eggs are so not vegan. It's not vegan. And then I gave up and put some Parmesan on it, so it's all good. And then some bacon. And some white truffles, which white truffles are totally vegan. I didn't put bacon Do in Do you know white. how many Italians had to die for that Parmesan? I'm it's, fine with it. Be ashamed of yourself. Go watch Food Incorporated. I'm fine with it. They're European. And actually, I, I sort of want to go to war with Italy right now anyway, so. What do they do? They put the prettiest girl in the world in jail. Well, I mean, but besides my wife. Free Amanda Knox. Huh. Yeah, that was a Good save. Yeah. Besides oh. your wife, yeah. Okay. So I was going to ask, um, along that aioli line, <laughs> the areola. I thought we were talking about white foods. Wait, what? I was just going to ask, you know, if we're all into the areola, or do we all shy away from it? What? <laughs> How do you I, shy away from the areola? I put them in my mouth. I don't know what other people do. But we I, have them. Yes. Like, they're a fact of life, unless you want to get them. I wonder if some people don't put them in, in their mouth and Why play with them. Why would you not put it in your mouth? I don't What's know. wrong with you? It, vegans don't. I'm just asking. That's what I hear. <laughs> That's what, well, because... You know what, though? I've talked to many a vegan that will, Exactly. I'm, Let's uh, go. That's not a true vegan. Uh-oh. That's what I said. I said, if you're a vegan, how can you suck cock and swallow? You can't oh, do that. Oh, wow. And they said... I don't really consider it. <laughs> We're just How getting this all surprised? out now before 30 hour day. Whoa. Seriously, it's not vegan. It's a byproduct of a mammal. And, and that's, that's <laughs> even if the mammal enjoyed you doing it, I don't care. It's a byproduct of a mammal. But who knows? Maybe they like it. Oh, maybe you know they're what? hip. If we just kept this level of questioning, the, the stream, you know, you wouldn't have the waiver. You'd just have the. You know, you'd have the yeah, but then I get all the hate mail up. too. Nah, just give it to Robert. Yeah. Uh, while no we're on the way. subject, uh, the <laughs> second most search what? term Constant? that that uh, yeah, okay. uh, the second most search term that brings people to similar is a uh, cunnilingus spelled wrong. Wow, how is it spelled? Cunnilingus. Cunnilingus. And the, ha- how? What, what is a it? great name for a band. What? <laughs> well, someone started a, a ham conna cunnilingus uh, uh, tag. Ham and cunning. You know what happened right now? Tarosi just uh, bought that domain. <laughs> Actually, I think he bought three domains while we were talking. <laughs> he, he, well, he bought the .net, .net for dot, dot, dot .gov. Yeah, dot yeah. me. <laughs> 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 Hammond dot .gov. I can't even say it. It's... Oh, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. I'm kind of glad I well. own Cami Chaos right now, because otherwise he'd go by that, too. Yeah. Which has nothing to do with ham and cunnilingus, because I don't like ham. 
I don't either. I like bacon, but not big I like on pork. Bacon. I like Canadian bacon. Good. But only because I like uh, eggs Benedict. I do not have to report you to Homeland Security. Thank you. How do you guys feel about food in the sex act? Oh, no. uh, it's not it's, acceptable. It's too, it's not too cool. acts food, that I don't mix. See, food yeah. is amazing, and cool. sex is amazing. But when you squish them together... No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, eating... So none of that nine and a half weeks action. Where you're going I'll, the I'll watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll jig it out. Yeah, um, yeah. I just got to get this out of my system before that damn 30-hour day. Yeah, we need to say a lot of really profane things this week. Yeah. Someone someone go. I've already... So we're not... I, I, I'm, I'm working it here, I think. <laughs> I've already He's said pretty good. Shit. Next subject! I said words that I don't normally say on the show, so someone uh, else, it's someone else's turn. Well, yeah. You made Rick buy a new domain. So. <laughs> what you know what? I, you know what's sad though. I'm going to share this information. I remember when we first met, Mr. Cherosi. <laughs> Can you flash back with me? Uh, <laughs> we kept going in the refrigerator, rubbing straw strawberries on his aerial or something. <laughs> no, I've never done that. He's have you? Yet. Wait till yeah. I'm so excited. So my point he was just said, is that just wait till 30 hours. When I met yet. Rick, <laughs> it took nothing for me to turn him bright red. Like literally, I would just say, "Come sit on the couch," and he would turn bright red. And now, I have to work at it. I have to say, "Frozen strawberries on your areolas." Still nothing. Nothing. He's developed a, a tolerance for iocane powder. <laughs> Laser shield. <laughs> Laser I'm, shield. I'm so happy right well now. Done. Anytime well we done. can have a princess bride moment, I'm just totally thrilled. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm no. a big Wallace if Shawn I'm guy. iocane powder, then he has developed an immunity to me. Yes. Well done. Yes. That was very charming. The way <laughs> that you was did very that. charming. <laughs> can you guys do some A team for me now? <laughs> ah, no. You're going to knock me out, so I'll file a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the no A team for me. Okay, I no, understand. The A team is uh, sacred. That too. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the A team. I've lost. How my do you feel skirt. about the remake? How, different... how do you feel about the movie? There's a movie. Oh yeah. Oh, it's yeah. filmed. It's in the can. But they haven't released it yet. No, right? no, it's coming out. Um, Liam Neeson. Bruce Willis is. No, it's Liam Neeson, isn't it? No, it's Bruce Willis is Hannibal. What? I'm pretty sure it's Liam Neeson. Bruce Willis really? can't be Hannibal. Pretty sure it's Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, right, maybe. Can someone Google. please find oh, this out man. for me? Uh, because A Team was a very significant part of my childhood, and I may or may not have ha exchanged A Team related quote DMs today. I may. Have. I totally did. I can't help it. Uh, uh, before I forget, uh, I'm supposed to say for Scott, uh, there was an outbreak of monkeypox. Oh my! Ah. Ah. So monkeypox. Hi, Scott. Monkeypox. Wait, what do you get with the monkey pox? Um, uh, it's uh, erectile dysfunction. No, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liam Neeson is Hannibal. Bradley Cooper is the face man. Charlotte Copley is Murdoch. I don't know. That's that racist. <laughs> Who's Bra Mr. T? Bradley Cooper is a good face man. Though. Who is Mr. T? Uh, you would be a Brockus. Uh, Quentin oh, Rampage sorry, yes. Jackson. Who's B.A.? <laughs> of course he's got a third name. Quentin Rampage Jackson. Do you know, do you know what B.A. Barakas' first name is? <gasps> Bosco. What? Bosco. Why did you... Yeah. Why did what? Who? Nothing. Oh, but Jerk Benedict makes a guest appearance. Of course. When is this, when is this released? Uh, next year. We need a tweet up. Probably the same giant... time that the Green Hornet's going to get released, too. We Damn. need a giant tweet up for the A-team. It's going to suck really bad, and I'm going to cry, and I'm going to need some shoulders. To cry into because they will ruin my childhood and I will watch it. That's good. That's going to be tough for you. It's going to be really tough for me. They have uh, the van is like identical though. Mm. The van is very right on. See, now that you say the van, I think I remember hearing something about the movie being made because I was only, very concerned about the only about picture the van. they released. They've only released one picture so far, and it's uh, all the guys standing around the van. Um, and the van looks awesome. The van looks totally good. I feel I feel upset and betrayed right now. It's it's either going to be great or it's going to be worse than GI Joe. Oh, it's going to be awful because A Team was fucking shitty. <laughs> it really was. I mean, like I'm done. what am I? Yeah, exactly. What am I best by by Chain? But it had it was George my, Pappard. In it was. It. I love George Pappard. It I was mean, one of my best childhood memories. Yeah. Actually, it really was. Cast. But it was horrible. It was a great cast. It I did. loved it just every was unwatchable. 
No, it was not unwatchable. It was horrible. There's a big yeah, difference. No, I know. I, I loved every it. horrid moment of that show. And Dirk, that was Dirk Benedict's follow up from Battlestar Galactica mm-hmm. too. The original Battlestar. He's an alum of my college. What? Rick Trozzi's oh, name dropping. Just ignore him. Oh, he'll be at 30 hour day? Can, Dirk be, Benedict yes. will be at 30 Dirk hour day. Honor. We'd have Dirk <laughs> Pard, but he's we'll dead. Yeah. yeah. So I can't believe he's going to do an A team cameo, but he didn't do a Battlestar cameo. Yeah, kind of, I mean, kind of surprising. Well, they had the real Apollo. Oh, there's sure. Sherlock Holmes is coming up too. I did find out. You saw the poster and you asked. Robert Downey Jr. is Sherlock Holmes, mm-hmm. and the other guy, Jude the Law other is guy Watson. is okay. Jude Law as Watson. Yeah, and they make out, and that's awesome. I'm because so, <laughs> it's so. You know who the original cast was though? Uh, was Will Ferrell and uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. That's very Jeez. funny. They should make both of those. Now it's now it's Our, hunky uh, Sherlock Holmes. I, I, while we're talking about this, I'm going to pitch a movie Robert to Jan the internet. Robert Jr. is not really hunky. But that's oh, the thing. Joking? Have you seen the trailer? No, I'm not. The trailer, he's, smoking he's, hot. he's shirtless the whole time and just hot super and ripped. <laughs> what? Yeah. I would, so, I Watch would the make, trailer. I, mm, I, you know what? I'm just not a Robert Downey Jr. kind of girl. Maybe that's the problem. He's a good Tony Starks. Stark. It would be awesome. I was, go- I was Ghostface killing it. <laughs> Tony Stocks. You know, I can't <laughs> wait to see the cocaine using themes. Theme, blah, 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 you know what I'm excited to see? Movie. What's the movie? Um, Sherlock Holmes. No, is, no, that's not it. No, the Terry Gilliam movie. Uh, Dr. Parnassus. Thank you. Yeah. I'm super excited. Awesome. Uh, I'll watch anything that man makes. Yeah, while, Terry while Gilliam is the best director movies, of all time. While we're talking about movies... I, I'm gonna pitch. I'm gonna pitch okay, movie. Pitch Look at me movie. in the internet. Look at me in the eyes. This is a million dollar okay. idea. <laughs> okay. So the concept is uh, uh, there's a home that uh, broke stars go to uh, after they fake their deaths in order to uh, repay the state all the money that they own. Nice. In this house lives uh, Jim Morrison. Nice. Uh, Michael Jackson. Elvis. Uh, and Elvis, of course. Okay, yeah. And uh, Jason Bateman is the guy who uh, runs the house and forces them to now, go Jason to work. Jason Bateman is hot. Thank All you. Right. Yes. Uh, Just and saying. Michael Jackson's played by Tracy Morgan. Uh, Elvis <laughs> I love Tracy. Uh, is Danny McBride, and uh, Jim Morrison is Will Ferrell. Done. $3 million to can, make it. Can we do Elvis? Uh, can it be uh, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Campbell? Oh, I, I would be say. so much happier if Elvis was Bruce Campbell. I like Danny McBride. Right. Just, no, just kind of re, uh, you yeah. know, reenacting his role from uh, Bubba, Bubba Hotep. 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 I don't even know. Is, is, is You've that, never is, seen Bubba Hotep? Is, is that English? <laughs> oh god you go home do you have netflix i don't have a home <laughs> do you, i don't care about that do you have you netflix? i do have netflix okay go to wherever you sleep sometimes mm-hmm. and go to netflix it's in many ways the best bruce and get movie. bubba hotep go go and check out bubba hotep it's the next hey. movie i want netflix to send you all so, right since we're pitching our dream Man, movies which i, I think we movie. should go around and pitch the dream movies can do i it? pitch mine i want to pitch Wait, mine can i make one nope. other change to his Quickly, yeah. mm, I'm done. This is like this you know is just I like Hollywood. I, I want you my to mind. do it and then do it completely differently. Bam. No, no, You're I love producer. I love yeah. everything about <laughs> You're it, a great especially producer. the part where Jason Bateman's there because he's really cute. He, he was on the Today Show the other day. Was so he? Um, I don't watch the Today Show. Justine Bateman mm-hmm. have a cameo. I think that's his sister, right? In my dreams, she's a podcast. <laughs> okay, so here's an idea. You want to hear my pitch? I yeah, do. sure. Okay, it's kind of like the A Team. Oh, Actually, God. it's really cool. It's kind of like A Team. It's kind of like these secret guys in a van. They drive around, around <gasps> Portland. I know this one. And this is a good one. They drive past like filthy, filthy hippies, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they accost them, throw them in the van, and speed away. Mm-hmm. And scene fades, fades up. You see the van, doors fly open, a body flies out, and they drive away. And the guy gets up, and he's wearing. You know, a John Helmer suit. He's shaved. He's clean. He's got a briefcase. And he doesn't he's smell like hat. patchouli. He smells good. Just saying. Maybe they, yeah. Maybe they drop him off at the zoo pans in front of the walk or whatever. Cool, huh? You like that? You like that? I just, I just like the part where you're getting rid of the hippies. All right. I'm just, you know. It's like a secret organization. Yeah. So what do you think? He pitched what's this your, to me like pitch years ago. I still kept uh, him. Give I, us your I, movie. Well, I want a remake of Logan's Run. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey! With, uh, you know how old I am, buddy? <laughs> He's like twice your <laughs> age. Have you not seen Logan's Run? Uh, yeah, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> I would be dead. 
Uh, that, that little blinking light would have come off long ago. Uh, I want a Logan's <laughs> Run remake with uh, with Paul Dano as, as the uh, in the Michael York role. And, Did uh, they remake it in Oregon? Yeah, it was Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah. oh that's uh, uh, the uh, island. Uh, the that's island. really that's a re. I didn't see it. Remake, yeah. mm. Wow, I really? Yeah. I don't watch wow. movies. I, I purposely apparently. just looked up to see if it had recently been or was about to be remade <laughs> before I said that. Uh, so now I feel like an ass. <laughs> Way to go, douche. Say it. You get you got me on the Bruce Willis in the 18th. <laughs> <night, so I laughs> <didn't laughs> he had to get you back. So you really like, wow. Vengeful. So yeah. is it worth watching? Oh, that that's a great movie. No. Really? Scarlett Johansson. Uh, I like it. Oh, ScarJo. Who was who was I fell who else asleep. was in the movie? You and McGregor. Oh, I do like you and He's very big crush. Yeah, I have a whole You have a big man. crush on you and I like you and McGregor. You know who I have a big crush on? Who? Duh, David Tennant. <laughs> oh. Hello, I just want a movie where I can stare into David Tennant's eyes. Have you been reading the new Doctor Who comic? No. It's good. I should. Yeah, it's all the animated David Tennant. It's great. I like, an- I also like plastic David Tennant. <laughs> this just got really dark. He should yeah, be on top plastic of David Tennant. I love you, Rick. <laughs> I'm just saying. Last year we, we can't had... hear him. He's not on mic. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Rick suggested that David says. Tennant should be the tree topper at Thirty Hour Day, right. and the reason I think that is so fabulous is because last year when we had a Strange of Life Christmas tree, David Tennant was the tree topper. How oh, nice! So I'll bring him with me. So do you have a movie, Cammy? Yes, it's one where I get to stare into David Tennant's eyes. That was it. I'm. Really... I like it. It, maybe, sounds, it maybe, sounds very French. Okay. Let's just take. It wait, was, if we can put and there's a coffee our shop. Movies, I want to recast my movie. <laughs> there's a coffee shop, and I get to stare into David Tennant's eyes, and then he pulls out the sonic screwdriver and fixes something, and then we go away in the TARDIS forever. Mm. I was just going to take David Tennant, cast him in Don't the uh, him. in the um, what's his name in his role in Logan's Run. Sure, uh, in Michael. He York's would be room. dead. Don't kill him. So if we can recast our movies and put ourselves in it, then mine is is me and, and Rachel Weisz uh, and Strawberries and. Uh, uh, Io- areola, Ioli areolas. Okay, Ioli that's fair. Fa- flavored areolas. That's fair. See, there were no rules on it. I can't believe you guys didn't think of this before. Damn it! And it's I a would, porno. I would remake. <laughs> I would remake like all of the Godard and Fellini and Truffaut films, and and like turn them all into action flicks. You know, with lots of gunplay. <sighs> Have Michael Bay remake them. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And aliens. I'm picking another one. Michael Bay to die. Well, uh, a lot. No, we yeah. don't. Yeah. Very nice man. <laughs> he destroyed. What did the, he do the, now? The Transformers. Yeah. Oh. Can I tell you the uh, truth? Whatever. I never watched them because I thought it would mess don't. up my childhood. Yeah. Don't. It's not worth it. That's an understatement. Yeah. It's terrible. That's good to know. I just want to see a really good re- remake of the TV British TV show UFO. You know that. As far as remakes. You just want to see more hot chicks in boots and purple oh, wigs. Yeah. It's okay. I like that. I like it's where you're okay. going with that. Yeah. It's fine. You can yeah. admit that. It doesn't have to be UFO. You just want that yeah. cast Bring back the, the sexy. Costumes. Bring back the sexy. Bring back the, the sexy. The 60s were all about the short skirts and the big boots. And, the... and everything that was set in the future was, you know, boots Well, we were liberated so we could sexy. be all sexy. You guys right. remember that song in the year 2525? Two. 25? No. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking you were going to do the Conan O'Brien thing in the year. Yeah, what was that? Um, I, wow. My favorite okay. in the year 2000 yeah. was when Mr. <laughs> T was on. And he had him in the fucking costume. Yeah, I know. I've been drinking. I can't sing normally. Totally yeah. can't Again sing Again with the Mr. T. Yeah, my childhood's totally based on the Transformers, Is My Little Ponies, movies or and, uh, and the A-Team, and MASH. And the doors. I had a fucked up childhood. You know that is going to be the future of of media. It, it, and here's the doors. Where, my no, little here's where these guys the are going to make billions Transformers. of dollars. I don't understand. What's going to happen is you're going to go out and code this site where you can take any character mm-hmm. from any film or television and totally recap. And then I realize this is Second Life, and you can already sort of do this, but you make it not not. You know, not so much the virtual reality, more just like you write a script, you say, I want Hawkeye Pierce in this role, I want, you know... Um, TV Hawkeye or movie Hawkeye? Yeah. You Mo- know what, no. TV Hawkeye. We don't need to have this. As a society, we don't deserve that until we have a holodeck. 
Right. That's what I'm saying. And then, that's what it would be. No. It would be a holiday. I will be, be the cool. first to misuse the holiday. Everyone's like, oh, what about be second fun. life? No, no, no. Something cooler. How that. did they establish the rules for the holodeck? Because you know they had some, but you know, I mean, uh, you know what the holodeck was no, really actually no, for. I mean, yeah, <laughs> they didn't show it in the episodes, but we all know what the holodeck was for. Well, I mean, I, if you no, but it, Worf turned the safeties off to have sex in it once, I believe. With Deanna Troy, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, it was actually in one of the books. Uh, I read the, <laughs> the books, uh, and there was a whole thing where he oh. he had this ongoing relationship with Virtual Troy and, and the holodeck, and then at one point she discovered it, and then they actually ended up together later, but. Um, you know, this was when she was still dating um, Commander Wright. I'm a nerd. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm a big next gen fan. Nice. It's cool. Uh, Rick and I both. Captain Picard all the way. Uh, my dog. Uh, she has this great uh, part of her head that I call uh, her Picard. It's 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 like a really soft little spot where I like to put my nose. And I'm I gonna one up you. I, I, mm. There's a photo of my child when she was three weeks old. Looks exactly like Patrick Stewart. Wow. Yeah. You what your dog looks like Patrick Stewart? My daughter. Oh. You know our child, oh. the one we have. Sorry. Yeah, we got, I only got the kid? one. There's that sure. photo that I've yeah. got and no, it's all black and white. And it looks like a headshot tweeting. of Patrick Stewart. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's creepy. Creepy likeness. Oh yeah. You should pictures. have done like a whole baby uh There are start. three. There are yeah. three. You should have done like a, a recreation, you know. You should sure. sit her in a seat. Engage. I this will year, make it so. <laughs> this year we tried to get her to dress up as a Star Wars character, but that's right. Yeah, she's apparently cooler than I am. She's totally cool. Anyway, so well, there goes the martini, <laughs> and you know what that means, folks. <laughs> it means the martini glass is empty, and we have ten minutes. No, five minutes left of the show. Oh, okay. You've been keeping time. Yeah, I can drink and keep time. It's it's a mir- it's a miracle. The piano a has miracle. been drinking. Anyway. <laughs> Are you mocking Tom Waits or me? A little of both. Okay, we don't mock Tom Waits. Uh, I really like the Arbor Mist commercial he did. Huh? He did an Arbor What? Yeah, absolutely. No. Are you kidding? Oh, I'm lying. I don't watch TV. Uh, so. That was a lie. Okay, good. Uh, I no, feel a lot better. He, I was he, like, he was ah. in a he was in a really bad movie that um, he's been in some. It, it was essentially it was like uh, one of those white people wedding movies, you know, mm-hmm. where it's like they all go to like a retreat in, in and the Hamptons married. or something, and they're very white. Um, and Tom Waits uh, made a cameo uh, in the jail, uh, and uh, oh, in jail, of course, because he's right. a criminal, right? And cool. it was incredibly disturbing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. To see Tom Waits in an Arbor Mist commercial. Do you know what I like Tom Waits in? Nothing. A superhero movie. No, no, I don't have Mad a, Men or Mystery Men. Yeah, I don't have a sexual attraction to Tom Waits. I like it when he keeps his clothing on. But Mystery Men, he was awesome in Mystery Men. I have a weird thing for James Taylor. Do you? Do you mm. like it when James Sorry. Taylor takes his clothes off? I hate James Taylor. I, I don't <laughs> like his music, but <laughs> but you sexy. like him. Did you like Funny People? I <laughs> did. That was funny. His cameo in that was Facebook. great. I didn't see that. You should see it. It's worth a watch. Yeah. Yeah. So he says big areolas or something. What? I don't know. Why are we back to the areolas again? I'm trying to wrap it up. It's a James bring Taylor it, bring song. us back to You're sexy. trying to bring us to a close? <laughs> I, no. That's impossible here. We have four minutes. We can close now if you want. No, that's fine. What do you got? I've got stuff. I could talk about the fact that Dane is going to come down and so is Kyla. They're going to come okay. hang out with us on 30 Hour well, Day. Everyone's yeah. going to. Towards the end though, right? Uh, I with think us. so. I'm not sure. I think. We, I, I think I emailed you. We haven't scheduled it out, but whenever, whenever you guys want It'll us. It'll be Saturday in the evening. That's fantastic. Fantastic. And then you can come and like, you know, help out and do stuff and then we'll have you guys on. It'll be great. Yeah. I'll carry stuff and then we'll do. Uh, like Kyla a, can come be funny. We'll do a number from Guys and Dolls. And Woo! Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're really. Awesome. Tunes. That's but what could we you bring need. some Should. tissues? Because uh, I, I think at that point Rick is going to be crying like a baby. I yeah. will bring the tissues. He gave us a big thumbs up. He's going to be crying at that point. Steph Strickland's going to come down to witness the crying, which will make her cry. And then because she's crying, I'm going to cry as well. I assume if the three of us are all crying, that other people might cry. And then I'll yell at someone on Twitter because the girls are crying, and that's what I do when <laughs> girls cry. Good. That's good. You've been well trained. Yeah, I, I'll make wild accusations on Twitter. I like that. It makes me happy. Um, I think we're gonna say goodbye to but, the people. Yeah. Wait, what? But you got to plug one thing. What do I have to plug? 
Oh, tom- tomorrow. Sunday. Oh, Sunday? tomorrow. You've got I have every- to plug two things. Holy moly. I have my plugging to do, but let's, I'm going to say that. that when this show's over, I would like Dane to go and make some wild accusations on Twitter on my behalf. I'm, okay. I absolutely. It would make me very happy. I'm working on that. I'm okay. formulating them right now. Cool. However, okay. before that happens, I need to tell you all that tomorrow we're having the 30-hour day tree up, tweet up. We're going to be going and getting the 30-hour day holiday tree. It's going to be like huge. I need like a 14-foot tree, people, and I need help picking it out. I've never had a tree that big. I am very excited. Please go to 30hourday.org. There's a post. You can see where we're going. And then on Are Sunday. Are we meeting somewhere in town before Lawrence we Farms. To... No, we're going. No, we're meeting at Lawrence Farms. Okay. Yes. And okay. there's there's information on the site about that. I'm okay. doing a tweet up tomorrow, too, at my house uh, for right around breakfast time. Um, where uh, You guys tweet and make me breakfast. People just come to my house, and it's and called a tweet. It. I like it's it. A breakfast tweet up. It's I like a good it. idea. It's a good idea. I'll bring some spinach. Yeah, I, I'm probably. I, I'm and, the thing I'm going to do. Yeah. It, it worked out so well last time. I'm going to do lunch one as well. It's a good idea. Actually, I've seen people do that. You just tweet up, and people bring in ingredients, and you just have fun. You know, you just. He just. But I'm the only one who's yeah. eating. Yeah, no one else gets to have the food. I like that even better. You yeah. would have liked the breakfast. I, I had like the today. way you think. It was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. You I mean, think like me. Yeah. Um, I have another thing to plug. Yes, you I'm do. Just saying. So tweet up tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Lawrence, Fall, go to 30hourday.org to find out. And you can go get your own fresh, Christmas wonderful tree. Christmas tree. Pretty, pretty. Yule tree. And someone, it's a holiday tree. Happy it's Hanukkah. A, it's a Christmas tree. Um, Let's be anyway. honest. But although, happy Hanukkah, because no, today's no, it's the first day of Hanukkah. Christmas. And then on Sunday, Sunday because I am Sunday, not already Sunday. busy enough, on no. Sunday... I will be at Seventh Planet Picture Show mocking the movie Something Something Mars uh, down at Mount Tabor Pub at 7.30. 7, 7.30, I think. And yeah. <laughs> by the time we have confirmation of the time, it'll be too late. We'll so 7.30, Seventh Planet Picture Show. I'll be there with Robert Wagner and Will Reddick, and we'll be mocking a Mars movie. It's, it's a good one. really awfully good. Yeah. It's, and by it's a good awfully one to mock. good, I mean it's horrible, and you'll really enjoy me mocking it. So you should come down. And then next week, please, please, please watch Thirty Hour Day because I'm going to be tired. And what does that start? It's at eight. Oh, it starts at eight. No. Be there at seven thirty anyway. Yeah. Right. Rick says it starts at eight, but be there at seven thirty. Planet Pitch Show at eight at Mount Tabor Theater, and Thirty Hour Day. And next what Friday. hour would we be into now? Eight. Hour eight, right? We would now, be at the time. hour where I start killing people. <laughs> We're not even close to the end. Oh, geez. We would be at the end of so the watch people it living. live on the stream uh, on Ustream. Actually, this is and, a very commercial um, ending. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be good. We got good sponsors. We got a lot of stuff. We, we got Target for tomorrow, which yeah. you didn't mention on KGW, but we didn't have. Square, but yeah, no, no, Target for tomorrow and the We've horns got, of destruction. And the opening band is my good friend Steve Frost. From one moment, um, so, and we got a whole bunch of other bands and stuff lined up. It's gonna be awesome. What? Uh, I just Let's need to talk to Rick about something. It's okay. Whatever, well, no, I was la, plugging la, it. La, 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 this is the kind of shit la, la, la. I get every week during <laughs> Meme PDX. You Everyone's should not like, have to be in a room with Rick and I. We're trouble. <laughs> the title senior producer. You it's keep like, upgrading your oh, title. Oh, executive senior What was producer? he last I week? Said, last week he was just the producer. Why can't All right, say call goodnight. I'm the vice Dane. president of sandwich making. <laughs> Nate, are you going to uh, make me a sandwich? Yeah. Do you make a good sandwich? Well, I make I make good half-eaten sandwiches. Uh, if, as long as you cut it in half first, I'm fine with it. That ruins the taste. That's a little known fact about sandwiches. When you cut it in half, all the, all the good But you know what? I'm okay because I know you don't put mayonnaise on it. It's true. No, he puts areolas on it. I don't care about that. There's no mayonnaise on the bitch. Delicious. <laughs> All right. Let's say good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Similar.com. Oh, I'm similar.com, plug. please. Yeah. Go there. Have an account. Thank you. Tag things. Lots of tagging. 